I'm here with Melissa Taylor, who is filling in for head coach Rusty Rogers this week, and she is going to talk to us about the Cougar women two wins last week, 80 to 68 over Concordia, Wisconsin, and 85-66 over Lakeland College. And uh, Melissa, bottom line, this has to be about as, as good a start for the Cougars in conference play as uh, you and Coach Rogers could have imagined. Absolutely. Our uh, intensity and drive and teamwork has been unbelievable. Their play on the court is just as good as it is off the court. Um, their togetherness and cohesiveness definitely contributes to that and is a big factor in the successes that we've had thus far uh, between Mequon and Lakeland. All right. Um, I think maybe to, maybe to those that have not seen the Cougar women play yet this year, the, uh, the offensive numbers that the team put up may be the most surprising, um, a combined 165 points. And a lot of that due to uh, two freshman players, uh, Jayla Dijon, who scored uh, 22 against Mequon and 32 against Lakeland, and uh, Courtney Lothink, who, uh, who chipped in with the points, but also had some uh, big numbers in a lot of other categories as well. Absolutely. I would say between the two of them, their aggressiveness in the backcourt and the press has allowed us to um, definitely push up the press and get a lot of easy buckets and transition on the defensive to offensive end, as well as uh, in the half court setting, their up top aggressiveness um, on the guards and scrappiness has contributed to that success as well. Our back line and the rest of the players are definitely a huge, um, huge contributors to all the success that we've had in having those great, um, great numbers of points per game. Cougar basketball hasn't seen, you know, 120 plus points within two games in a long time. So we really appreciate the uh, the hard work and effort that they put in on a on a day to day in practice, and then it transfers over to the game and and that intensity and speed. And of course, uh, just like the first two games of the season, the uh, the defensive pressure has uh, has con continued to be a huge talking point. Um, certainly in the first few minutes of the uh, Lakeland game the other day, uh, it seemed like that pressure just kind of caught Lakeland by surprise. And it was um, an eight nothing lead, I believe, for the Cougars within like the first two, two and a half minutes of the game. Absolutely. Uh, like we said, the pressure and intensity is really our driving force for a, a team concept in its entirety for this season thus far. And I would say that along with on the offensive end, all the great ball movement and assists that we've had contributed to um, the wins this season so far have been amazing. I've never seen from playing Cougar basketball to now coaching Cougar basketball, I've never seen such a great deal of teamwork and movement and just getting everybody involved from top of the line to the bottom of the barrel and doing you know what's great for the program. And uh, certainly it's been a big thing getting a lot of people involved because to play that kind of defensive uh, game for 40 minutes, um, it, it takes a lot of individuals helping out so you don't uh, wear down the... Uh, Absolutely. The, the wear and tear um, is definitely something that we're constantly aware of. Uh, Coach and I are looking over numbers and times of positions of players and how off frequently we're subbing and all that um, is taken under note considerably um, to make sure that we constantly have fresh legs so that for the entire 40 minutes we're able to aggressively press in the backcourt as well as continue the scrappiness in the half court to constantly deliver that pressure that teams obviously don't like. All right, now the Cougars will be uh, getting ready for Alverno College uh, this Wednesday night, the, uh, the final home game of this little five, five game run. Okay. And then the uh, first road game uh, coming this Saturday at Edgewood. Now that game obviously being the first one away from home will have some challenges uh, just by that fact alone. But um, what other things is the team going to look to, to work on even after, even after this really Good start. Absolutely. I mean, as the fans and everyone has, you know, noted to Coach and I as well as our players that it's very exciting to watch us play. We do have a lot of troubleshooting to do despite the, you know, the wins that we have thus far. Um, that being said, we're going to make a few modifications in our defense 
as well as get the ball rolling and have more movements and cut on offense to really speed things up even more than we've seen so far. So hopefully that will attribute to our success in the future and we'd like to continue focusing on all our core components to the success of this season. All right, Melissa, it's uh, certainly been an enjoyable early run here for the Cougars. And uh, congratulations on two big wins. It's, it's great to see the Cougars on top of the Northern Athletic Collegiate Conference standings. Absolutely. And let's hope we can keep it up. Uh, good luck uh, as you get ready for Alverno and Edgewood. Thank you so much, Jim.